So in our today's video of Python tutorial, we'll be discussing about variables and string. So variables are nothing but placeholders like in general maths. We can name a variable anything like for example where or var we can say. We can add number to the name of variable but it is recommended that we don't add any special character like this in variables name. So there are, these are the basic rules of naming a variable. We can also add uppercase letters. We can do anything. So let's see an example. If var is equal to 5 and var2 is equal to 8, var plus var2 gives 13. So 5 plus 8 gives 13. That's how variable works. Now let's see how to print a variable. For example, this time we have printed the addition of this variable. So if we want a variable, so variable 3 is equal to 8 and we have to simply print 8 just type var3 in the next line so this is the basic of variable now let's continue to the next part of the video that is strings it is really easy to type a string in python but not as easy as the as we write integers for example we have to write a string name brick so it has a syntax error because to write a string in python either we have to write it in single quotes or in double quotes let's see brick double quote brick now with single quote same function so we can use either of the two quotation marks either single quotation marks or double quotation marks now let's see a case if we have to write I don't know what happens here is it the string starts from this quote this single quote and stops at this single quote so it doesn't read anything after it so it is a syntax error for the for this part after the this single quote so it shows an invalid syntax so to eliminate this error we'll simply put all of this in double quotes oh my bad control v so it is printed I don't know what if we have another complicated sentence with all of these quotation marks a lot of them so what will we do is we'll simply write print I don't know and don't forget to add the quotation marks so we can also write print so to eliminate these quotation marks in our output like this starting and ending quotation marks we just write print now we've got another case if we are, I have to write print my address is address is a backslash name backslash my name and don't forget to add these quotation marks so let's see what happens my address is aim slash my name so what happens here is we've got some special characters in python so backslash n is a special character which is used to switch to the next line so in this case it wrote my address is then the special character switched to the next line and aim slash my name is printed so to eliminate this type of problem in python what we do is we just simply write R before starting a string and write I'll just copy paste it control C control V enter so this time it has printed my address is backslash name backslash my name so what do this special character R do so if we add R operator before anything like this it just prints the raw line as it is and eliminates all the special character included in the string so R stands for raw string it just prints the raw string as it is so this is how this works and we've got another special character like I don't know if we have to write I don't know with single quotation marks we can just add a backslash before this single quote before T so it prints I don't know so now the question is what does this backslash do to this this single quote why doesn't it end the string at this here 
so what this this backslash stands for escape so whatever is the next term after this backslash it eliminates it not in case of n because backslash n is a whole special character but if there is no special character after backslash there is a single quote so it will eliminate this so it will work like i don't know it will not act as a special character so that's it for strings we can do some other cool stuff like var4 is equal to pc we can store value of a string in a variable and var5 is equal to helper now add var4 plus var5 so we get pc helper so we can also add strings and one more cool thing we can do with strings is that we can multiply a string we get pc five times if we multiply var4 by five so these are the little cool things you can do with variables and strings if you have any doubt regarding this lesson just write in the comment section below and also don't forget to subscribe for more in the next video we'll be discussing about lists and other things we can do with the strings important ones so that's it thank you for watching Thank you.